Welcome to Jeans Reviews, where I basically do whatever the hell I want. Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I thought we'd go back to school. Let's check out one from, I think it's a channel called Fexil or Fexy. I'm not sure which. But I'll put the channel name in the description. And this is the most advanced civilization that scares scientists. This is some more stuff that I've really gotten to like, so let's check this out. Imagine a world where the sky is not just a ceiling, but a gateway Imagine to the stars. A world. a world where humanity has unlocked the secrets of the universe and harnessed its boundless energy to power its civilization. This is not a distant dream, but a reality that exists beyond our imagination. As you wake up on a peaceful morning, the first thing you notice is the tranquil hum of your anti-gravity bed, softly floating you above the floor. You look out of your window and see a bustling cityscape, towering high into the clouds with flying vehicles darting to and fro like bees around a hive. You step out of your room like and George into the Jetson. hallway where your robotic butler greets you with a warm smile and a cup of hot tea, made exactly to your liking. As you sip on your tea, you peruse the news on your augmented reality display and learn that humanity has just achieved yet another milestone. A new type of civilization capable of harnessing the energy of not just one, but multiple stars in their galaxy. You finish your tea and head out to your transport pod, which whisks you away in a blur of light to your workplace, a massive space station orbiting a nearby planet. Here, you work alongside other scientists and engineers to unlock the mysteries of the universe and push the boundaries of human knowledge. In the evening, you decide to take a break and indulge in some interstellar cuisine. You board a sleek vessel and in just a few short hours, arrive at a distant planet, renowned for its exotic delicacies. You sample dishes that defy your senses and marvel at the mastery of that the alien disgusting. chefs who prepare them. As you make your way back home, you realize that this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are countless civilizations out there, each more advanced and wondrous than the last. From Type 1 civilizations that harness the power of their home planet to Type 7 civilizations that command the entire multiverse, the possibilities are endless. What if I told you all these can be real and maybe some alien civilizations have already reached these heights of technological advancement? I think advancement. they are real. That's my opinion. This all started way back in 1964. The Soviet scientist Nikola Kardashev developed a classification system that groups civilizations based on their technological progress and energy consumption. This scale, known as the Kardashev scale, ranges from type 1, which represents a civilization that has not yet harnessed the full potential of its own planet, That's us. to type 3, which can harness the energy of an entire galaxy. The interplay between energy and technology is a fundamental principle that underlies the progress of civilizations. As society gains access to more energy sources, it can develop new technologies that enable it to harness even more energy, leading to a self-reinforcing cycle of advancement. It is a humbling realization that despite all the technological advancements humanity has achieved, we still remain at the lowest level of Kardashev's scale. Right. We proudly occupy the position of a Type Zero civilization. This means that we have not yet achieved the ability to harness all of the energy available on our planet, nor have we established a sustainable, global energy infrastructure. Humans currently have a score of 0 0.73. We had an average power consumption of 18.4 terawatt way back in 2018. Michio Kaku, an American theoretical physicist, Seen calculated that if we increase our power consumption by 3% each year, we will reach Type 1 civilization in 100 to 200 years. Hmm. A Type 1 civilization has mastered all the energy available to their home planet, available from a neighboring star. It extracts its energy, information, and raw materials from fission and fusion power and renewable resources. Also capable of interplanetary spaceflight and communication, mega-scale planetary engineering and medical breakthroughs to eliminate disease and slow aging, the species is tech-augmented but That'd is still nice. vulnerable to extinction. A Type 1 civilization is not limited to a single planet, 
but has established a presence on multiple planets and moons within their solar system. They have formed a unified government that spans across these planets and enables interplanetary trade, research, and collaboration. Their technological advancements have enabled them to augment themselves and their capabilities, but they are not invincible and are still susceptible to extinction. As Michio Kaku explains in his book, Physics of the Future, Type I civilizations harvest planetary power utilizing all the sunlight that strikes their planet. They can, perhaps, okay. harness the power of volcanoes, manipulate the weather, control earthquakes, and build cities on the ocean. All planetary power is within their control. This level of control over the natural world is truly astounding and shows just how far a civilization can progress when it masters energy and technology. All this talk about Type I civilizations might make it seem... If you're going to build a city on the ocean... You're going to have to account for tsunamis and stuff like that. But I guess if you could control the weather and everything like that. But could you imagine that? Having a city right out in the middle of the ocean. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Seem like we'd have superpowers. But that's nothing compared to what civilizations of type 2 are capable of. Have you ever heard about a Dyson Sphere? This is where I've a type 2 civilization comes in. These civilizations are able to harness the energy of an entire star by building a Dyson Sphere around it. A Dyson Sphere is a hypothetical megastructure proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson, which is essentially a spherical shell built around a star to capture its energy. The energy can then be used to power the civilization's infrastructure and technology. Building a Dyson Sphere would require an enormous amount of resources and technology and is not something that we are currently capable of as a civilization. Get on it, Elon. However, there have been some intriguing discoveries that have raised questions about the possibility of advanced civilizations harnessing the energy of stars. One of the most famous examples of a star that has generated a lot of interest among astronomers and the public alike is the Tabby Star. This star, located approximately 1,470 light-years away from Earth in the constellation Cygnus, was discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope in 2015. The Tabby star gained widespread attention because of its unusual and erratic light patterns. I don't think I've heard of that. It appeared to dim by up to 20% at irregular intervals, which was not consistent with any natural phenomenon that had been observed before. Some astronomers speculated that the dimming could be caused by a swarm of comets passing in front of the star, or perhaps even by an alien megastructure like a Dyson Sphere. If a civilization were able to build a Dyson Sphere around a star, they would have access to an immense amount of energy that would allow them to power technology and infrastructure on a scale that is currently unimaginable for us. They would have the ability to manipulate the energy output of the star and could potentially even create artificial gravity and black holes. Wow. Type II civilizations would also have the ability to colonize entire star systems. They would be able to build habitats and infrastructure on planets and moons and could potentially even terraform these worlds to make them habitable for their species. They would also have the ability to manipulate the orbits of planets and moons and could potentially even create their own star systems. According to Kardeshev, this kind of civilization is so advanced that it's almost godlike. The only type of civilization that could surpass it is a type 3 civilization. It might be the opposite of God. Imagine an entire galaxy with every solar system completely dismantled and every star enclosed in a Dyson cloud of energy extracting solar cells. Can you try and imagine how powerful this civilization would be? They could travel faster than the speed of light and manipulate gravity and electromagnetic fields. They would travel using some sort of propulsion technology we do not know yet, being able to travel I the think galaxy there's other in a couple of hours that can or days. Do that. In a 2015 study, astronomers estimated that the existence of such a civilization in our local universe is extremely rare. But if they do exist, galaxies would be like simple homes for them, and planets would be nothing but Might stones not be in, their in path. our universe. But I they think would it's have out the ability to manipulate the very fabric of space and time, control the movements of stars, and extract energy from the most powerful phenomena in the universe, such as supernova and black holes. 
We can't even imagine what else can happen if we reach this level of civilization. It is estimated that humans may take about a million years to reach this level and if we will be able to maintain our race till then. Right now, we obviously can't see anything like that, and there are two possible explanations for why. It's either there's no civilization that has reached this level, or it's possible that these advanced beings have developed so rapidly and with such advanced technology that they have been able to cover their tracks and remain undetected. With all these, you may think this should be the most powerful and advanced civilization. Even Kardashev himself believed that there could only be three types of civilization. But can some other civilization be even more advanced than all of them? A Type 4 civilization. Hmm. In his original scale, Nikolai Kardashev introduced only three levels three of, them, of yeah. civilization, as he believed that the energy of the whole galaxy could cover any life forms needed. Some other scientists went much further and updated the scale, imagining the possibilities of civilizations far beyond Type 3. The sheer size of the universe offers a glimpse of what might be possible for a Type 4 civilization. With billions of galaxies to explore, such a civilization could harness the energy of each one if necessary, controlling it for their needs. They could manipulate and rearrange the galaxies like construction sets, creating new planetary systems, or even erasing something that was no longer needed from the universe. Of course, to achieve this level of control, such a civilization would need to discover new laws of physics that are currently beyond human comprehension. But the mere possibility of such an advanced civilization is a testament to the vast potential of the universe Maybe and the angels. endless Maybe mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Heaven. But that's not all. The idea of a multiverse theory is know. not new and has been speculated by many scientists and philosophers for centuries. But what if there was a civilization that had not only discovered the existence of other universes, but had also found a way to harness their energy? A Type 5 civilization would be able to control the energy of infinite universes out there. They'll control all the hidden dimensions out there. Be able to transfer energy from one universe to another. Teleportation and even traveling through time would be a routine occurrence for them. Yeah, all these sounds implausible. But a Type 6 civilization would exist outside space and time. Capable of creating universes and multiverses, and also being able to destroy them instantly. If we are to reach this level of development, humanity will be able to control anything and everything. At this stage, we will practically be gods. In a far off future, humanity had <laughs> reached the nuts. pinnacle of its evolution. They had become a type seven civilization. With the technology available to them, they had unlocked the secrets of the universe and with it, the secret to immortality. Members of the Omega civilization could use virtual technology to travel to various pocket dimensions. To achieve this, they'll be able to curve space-time so that it acquires a certain emptiness that would later be used as a new home for objects relocated from the already existing universe. Considering all the distortions, the laws of physics could be somewhat different there, which could be very helpful. As they journeyed through the pocket dimensions, they discovered that each dimension was unique in its own way. Some dimensions were filled with vibrant colors and exotic creatures, while others were vast deserts or barren wastelands. But in every dimension they visited, they found something new to learn, new ways to challenge themselves, and new experiences to enjoy. But the most incredible thing about these pocket dimensions was the potential for immortality. They'll be able to program every single atom of every single individual. Man, in I don't want to be immortal. I don't want to live forever. the civilization could continue living in the pocket universe indefinitely. Hell no. And when the pocket universe eventually faded away, they could move to a pocket universe inside the pocket universe and so on indefinitely. The Omega civilization had become masters of their own destiny. And I don't want to no be reincarnated either. I want to be with my family that I had here. They had here. become beings of pure energy capable of traveling between dimensions at will. And with every new dimension they discovered, they continued to push the limits of what was possible, achieving feats that were once thought impossible. You all must have seen the pyramids, those yeah. ancient structures that have stood the test of time and continue to awe and inspire us to this day. 
But what if I told you that there was once an advanced civilization that existed millions of years ago, long before our own? Scientists over the years have studied the Great Pyramid and pondered what it must have taken at that time to construct such a wonder. Many scientists believe that it took 20,000 workers and 20 years to finish the Great Pyramid. This would be an astounding task when our history shows yeah, that they only used wooden implements with ropes and pulleys. Due to there being such detail and the precise alignments of the pyramid, it's hard to believe that no. such a magnificent structure could be completed in 20 years they had with help. so few people and such limited tools and the resources of that period. Despite all the study and examination by scientists, exactly how the pyramid was built remains a mystery. With modern day tools, scientists have not determined a way to recreate the pyramids even on smaller scales, with the same precision as those that built the originals. The technology to do so in that era simply didn't exist according to historical teachings. It shouldn't have been possible to construct the pyramids when they were built. It may sound like a wild claim, but the evidence is there for all to see. From the mysterious ruins of Machu Picchu to the megalithic structures of Stonehenge, there are signs that an ancient civilization once thrived on this planet. Yeah. And yet, despite all of this evidence, the idea of an advanced civilization existing millions of years ago is still considered by many to be nothing more than a myth. So something but what was if here we are before wrong? all of us. What if there is more to our history than we ever thought possible? What if an ancient civilization once existed that was so advanced it was capable of feats that we can't even imagine today? Imagine a world where technology was not just a tool, but a way of life, where energy was harnessed directly from the stars, and where the laws of physics were understood at a level that would make our modern scientists blush. This civilization would have had the ability to terraform entire planets, create new forms of life, and travel through space at speeds that would make our fastest rockets look like snails in comparison. And yet, Despite all of this power, this civilization would have eventually faced a crisis. A crisis that threatened their very existence. Perhaps it was a natural disaster, or a war between factions, or a sudden shift in the fabric of space-time. It was probably a Whatever war. Whatever the cause, this civilization was forced to make a choice. To either face extinction, or leave their world behind and search for a new home among the stars. So they embarked on a journey that would take them millions of years hopping from one planet to the next, terraforming and colonizing as they went. They left behind incredible structures that still baffle us to this day, from the pyramids to the Nazca Lines to the underwater cities that lie hidden mm -hmm. beneath the waves. And yet, despite all of this evidence, we still cling to the idea that we are the most advanced civilization that has ever existed. But what I if don't we are just the that. latest? in a long line of civilizations that have risen and fallen over millions of years. What if we are simply following in the footsteps of those who came before us, learning from their mistakes and building upon their successes? It may sound like science fiction, but the truth is that we just don't know. The evidence is there, waiting to be More uncovered like and pieced fact, together like a puzzle. Probably. For a Type 1 civilization, the greatest danger lies in the depletion of their planet's resources. As they harness more and more energy, they run the risk of depleting their planet's energy reserves, leading to a potential crisis or even extinction. Yeah, complete blackout. For a Type 2 civilization, the danger lies in the eventual depletion of their parent star's energy. As they harness the power of entire stars, they must also plan for the future and find new sources of energy before their star runs out. And for a Type 3 civilization, the danger lies in the eventual death of the galaxy itself. As they explore and harness the power of entire galaxies, they must also be mindful of the long-term health of the universe. In the end, each type of civilization faces its own unique challenges and dangers. But by working together and striving to understand the universe in greater detail, we can hope to overcome these challenges and build a better future for all. The road ahead is long and uncertain, but with courage, determination, and a commitment to the greater good, we can achieve great things and reach mm -hmm. new heights of technological progress and understanding. Hmm, that's pretty cool. I like that one a lot. That was really, really interesting. 
All I gotta say is, if it all does come to an end, I hope it's like, like really, really quick. I don't want to suffer. And I'm sure all of you pretty much feel the same. Anyways, I thought that was really, really interesting. That's from the channel. Fexel. F-E-X-L. Or F-E-X-I. I can't tell what it is. I'll put it in the description. Now it's time for a joke. What do you call a fancy fish? Sophisticated. <laughs>